Yo, what's going on guys? We are back with another episode. I know it's been a hot second since I've made a video. Um, this is going to be a very, very quick one. This isn't a feeding Friday. Just a quick update. Um, so, we got the 75. I just got a 125 for Leo to upgrade. And then the 10 gallon is act actually a 5 gallon. Uh, I kind of messed that one up. Um, and then Leo's still in the 25 and um yeah so i got good news and really really bad news uh i'll start with the bad news first just because get it out of the way rip the bandage off wait a second holy shit excuse me for cussing guys but i could have sworn my clown knife was dead and he just look he looks dead right Anyways, that was the bad news, is he was he was dead, but he literally just came up to the surface to gulp a little bit of air. Um, my thoughts are, he's just toast. Um, he was laying like this in the gravel. Uh, he's actually, I believe, he is a clown knife, but I believe he's a cross between a royal and a regular clown knife. Um, but... Yeah, hold on one second. I literally walked in and he was just like in that U shape on the ground. Um, now he's floating, but he just swam up to get air. I don't know. He was acting weird last night, so I like kind of knew he um, he wasn't really gonna make it. So with that being said, listen, I'm gonna explain something to you guys real quick. Oh, it stinks losing fish, all right? It stinks losing fish. I can't even see if this is focused. That's probably not focused. I'll leave it focused on me, right? It stinks losing fish, but, like, it's going to happen. Like, I lost my bluegill Reggie, who I had before Leo, and I loved him. Um, so I'm going to give this guy a proper flushing. I don't think he's big enough to be buried. But he is small enough to be flushed. Um, unfortunately, uh, he was acting weird last night uh, leading up to his um, leading up to his death, he was not eating like whatsoever. I, I didn't know if it was stress. I didn't know if it was a disease. I had no idea. No, I don't have a quarantine tank set up. I kept asking everybody like who I know is into fish keeping. They're like, go live foods, go ghost shrimp, go feeder fish. I have a bucket of feeder fish. He would not, literally would not eat anything. Um, but when I first got him, I think I need to upload that video. Um, when I get a chance, I'm gonna upload that. But uh, when I first got him, I was monitoring him in the 75, and he was actually being very aggressive towards the other fish, and that's why I put him in the 20 long. Um, I put Pictus catfish in there because I like Pictus catfish, and like he was silver, they were silver with dots. It kind of looked it looked good. Um, they weren't bothering him whatsoever, and I figured since he was aggressive that he wouldn't be bothered by them. But my theory is since they're very high moving creatures, um, it just stressed him out to the point where he did not want to eat. Uh, so, I don't know, it's a little frustrating because uh, it's like out of my control. Like I wish I could control it, but I couldn't. Um, so yeah, I. I don't know what to do because he's still kicking a little bit. It's like, like, here, he's straight up and down right now. Like, he's swimming. And then, look, he's like in and out of consciousness. Um, so I don't really know what to do. He's definitely dying. Ugh. That's just so crappy to see. Like, you hate this. This is the feed, one of the feeder fish that I put in there. Um, yeah, no light. I gotta do it. I know the water level's low. 
because I don't have a lid. I, I was going to do a water change today. Today's typically my water change days, but yeah, he's like, you guys saw, he was just moving, so he's in and out of consciousness, but I think his life is slowly fading away. He, look, just look how skinny he is. So if you guys don't understand, like, yeah, they're skinny fish, but see how skinny he is? Ready? Look how thick my albino clown knife is. My albino clown knife is very healthy. Do you see how thick he is? And he's getting big. When I got that other clown knife, the other clown knife was bigger than this guy. Um, and now this guy's bigger because he's literally just been eating everything. Um, there's my hand. He does not like to stay in one place, but he's getting big. He's almost as big as Leo. And then you got Perry and the Arrow, who has Fenrop, but his behavior is normal, so I'm not too worried about him. But anyways, guys, so that's one of the updates, and I'm just going to do a quick update on what's going on in the other room. So guys, we have a, uh, so you know how I had that like little tank or whatever? Well, let's just say when you have live bears in a tank that's 80 degrees, you get this. All these babies, baby mollies, guys, they are Dalmatian mollies, if you can't tell. I've had them for about two weeks now. I'm trying to focus so you can see some of them. They're so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, so that's the second update with death comes life, so on and so forth. Um, I really hope that you guys, oh jeez, I really hope that you guys can like learn something from this. Oh, whoever watches, I don't, I don't care. I make these videos for fun. Um, this, like I said, this is going to be a quick one. Just two clips, like six minutes, seven minutes, but um, yeah, it stinks, but I have a lot of other plans, especially for this 20 long, uh, now that the clown knife is dead, I was going, so I have this 10 gallon tank, um, that I was going to set up to be a quarantine tank, uh, and I was going to put him in it, actually, to see if I could feed him while he was alone, but, alas, he didn't make it, um, so, well, All right, well, on that note, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know why you think that the clown knife died. It's really upsetting. Um, he's such a pretty fish, but if you're going to keep fish, you're going to lose fish, and that's the harsh truth. So, like I said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for all the love and support, and... Peace.